okay so next is swf swf is simple workflow service uh, for simple workflow service so swf is not uh, going to be very big topic at the exam uh, because it's an older service uh, the newer service you have to use is step functions but uh, there's one case where you have to use swf that is when you are using amazon mechanical talk alongside of the swf uh, so this is just uh, what i'm going to cover right now so swf is to help you uh, work amongst application and the code is not serverless uh, it's going to be run on the ec2 and so this is why uh, this first version of workless uh, uh, service on aws but then they made step functions uh, that was serverless okay and hence uh, and uh, and hence more scalable more manageable and developers like the experience better you still have one year max of runtime and uh, you have two steps in swf simple workflow the activity is step to do something and the decision is step to decide what to do next there is also a built-in human intervention inside of the swf so you can have a human look at the at a workflow and say yes or no and uh, so some very simple but powerful workflows can have is to perform an order of fulfillment from the web to the warehouse to the delivery all of this is managed through swf so overall a step function is going to be recommended way forward except if you need external signals external signals to intervene in the process or if you need child processes that return values to the parent processes so think of workflow services swf calling swf calling swf so there is this nesting happening this is something swf does well uh, and step function does not so this is what it is mean by child processes to return values to parent processes and finally if you need to use amazon mechanical turk then in that case swf is the right fit and the step functions and and not the step functions and that's it and it's very very simple going into the exam very basic knowledge and let's go over it once and uh, so that's it i will see you in the next lecture